Hello guys and welcome to the Complete Noob's Guide to Open Red Alert, uh, Chapter 2. So, uh, now that we're getting uh, into it, you know, it's now time to go over all of the buildings. Uh, last chapter I kind of showed you generally basics like ore trucks, uh, power, and stuff like that. But I didn't go over what each building does and stuff like that. So, this chapter is going to be going over buildings, and then the next chapter after that will be going over uh, units. So uh, hopefully you stick around, and hopefully you enjoy this series. So let's uh, quickly get into this uh, start game option, and let's get ready to uh, party. So I've got cheats on, just for the sheer fact that it's easy. Um, I've also got an ally as well, uh, just so that I don't get attacked and stuff like that. This is this is just to make it as easy as possible for me. You won't have access to any of this, but uh, you know. So I'm just going to quickly plant down every type of building, just to uh, just to give you an idea, so that I can then go over what each one does. Now, as you can see, there's two types of barracks there. Uh, this doesn't matter. This is just because there's an Allied one and there's a Soviet one, but it doesn't particularly matter. So I didn't want that. So uh, it's going to gen. Uh, just gonna no, 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 no. So, as I'm planting this down, uh, sorry, I should have probably set this up beforehand, but, uh, it'll be alright. It'll be fine, you guys don't mind, alright? This is probably a bit terrible, I should have prepared this uh, beforehand. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Now, as you can see, there's, uh, there's fake buildings, which uh, I'm not going to go over. So uh, I believe that's every building I've put down, apart from the uh, the naval yard, but uh, I can't put that down because I don't have water. So uh, let's go over what we've got. So a power station. This is the simple, basic uh, power plant that you start off with. <coughs> um, it it gives you a hundred power, and you know then you can build other buildings using that power, and obviously you need money to be able to do that. Uh, the next one is an ore refinery. An ore refinery gives you access to an ore truck and gives you a place to put your uh, ore, which is then converted into uh, into money. Um, the barracks allows you to build uh, infantry, um, and there's different kinds of infantry for the different factions. So, for example, uh, the flamethrower is only available to the Soviets. The attack dog is only available to the Soviets. Uh, Tanya is only available to the um, <clears throat> Tanya is only available to the Allies, the Sniper is only available to the Soviets, and so on. Uh, the Zombie and Giant Ant is, uh, do not exist, they're just there, uh, they're just because I'm on the developer tab. So, uh, next, the Silo. So the Silo stores extra, uh, you know, ore, or money, if, you, if you're if you not spending it at the time. So as you can see, you can see the little uh, lines going up, because they're storing more and more stuff, so they're taking the load off of this, so it can take more stuff and that you get more money out of it. Uh, the next one is the uh, wall factory which allows you to build a huge variety of uh, ground vehicles including ore truck, ranger, V2 and stuff like that. These uh, these different units have different abilities, well not, not, not abilities, have different attacks and ranges and are effective against other kinds of stuff. So uh, then we also have the helipad, this is only available to the uh, to the allies and the allies have um, have access to uh, helicopters. We can shoot down uh, planes and stuff like that. Uh, the radar dome gives you access to the minimap up at the top right. So it's a huge advantage to get the radar dome as soon as possible. Um, for the uh, for the uh, allies, you uh, you get access to the uh, to the GPS once you've built the tech center. So the tech center uh, does different kind of things for different. Uh, for different factions. Uh, for example, the Soviets' tech center will give you access to the Mammoth, 
and the uh, and the Iron Curtain and stuff like that. Uh, a different cut, and then the uh, the Soviets get access to planes. Uh, planes, in my opinion, are pretty good for scouting, but they're pretty useless with uh, everything else. You can use them in huge loads and stuff, but um, I just don't feel like I use them very effectively. So they're the uh, they're the buildings that you uh, that you should get used to. Uh, oh yeah, the the one but. Oh, I haven't put a service depot down. So a service depot allows you to re uh, to repair your uh, repair your units by uh, going on them. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to show that, but you know that's just how it works. Now some of these uh, buildings provide uh, special um, abilities. So for example, the uh, the uh, the airport or the airfield gives you access to the spy plane and paratroopers. Um, the Allies radar dome and tech center gives you the GPS satellite, and so on. So there. Let's uh, let's now go over a couple of these uh, so the base defenses. So you got uh, a pillbox, and a pillbox is an anti-infantry uh, turret which uh, kills off infantry very effectively. So um, yeah, the camo pillbox is an invisible uh, pillbox which enemies can't see until it starts shooting. So they're great at sort of like ambushing and stuff like that. The flame turret is an area of effect, uh, anti, anti infantry thing. It fires, uh, flames. So if I show this off, look, there you go. Fire! And it's got a bit of, uh, you know. It's got a bit of, uh, air effect to it. The turret is a, uh, anti vehicle ability. Um, it can shoot tanks and ore trucks and whatnot. Uh, I wish I could get this to stop. Is it S? It is S, okay. So if you want to stop your unit from uh, firing and stuff like that, just press S. Uh, as I said, the turret is uh, anti-ground uh, vehicles. Uh, not very good against uh, infantry. It can kill infantry, but it's just not very effective at doing it. Um, just a reminder, pillboxes can only be pulled by the Allies. The flame, the flame tower is Soviet. And the turret is uh, is ally uh, well as as along with the AA gun. So the AA gun is anti aircraft, destroys uh, aircraft very effectively and stuff like that. Um, the Tesla coil is a uh, is a hugely powerful anti ground attack. Um, it takes out heavy tanks within one shot and it is very good, but it has a long recharge rate. Uh, the Samsite is also anti air. The only disadvantage to it is that it has more. It's got uh, you know, more foul power to it, so it takes out aircraft quicker, but it doesn't have the range of the AA gun. Uh, a gap generator hides your uh, within this blue circle. When the enemy gets their radar dome up, uh, they can't see what's in that area, so you can hide units in there and stuff like that. Now we're going over to the specifics of uh, each faction: the Iron Curtain and the Chronosphere. Uh, the Iron Curtain allows uh, units to become invulnerable, so if I just do that, you can see that unit is now becoming vulnerable. The Iron Curtain is very effective if you want to push into an enemy base and stuff like that. Uh, the Chronosphere is a teleportation ability, so I can now teleport this unit and I can stick it all the way... Oh, hold on. Let me do something like that. Let me get a unit that is actually close by. As you can see, they've built a lot of units. So if I get these guys, and then I can teleport them. Here, look at that. There we go. Uh, that only lasts for a certain time of events, but that's that. I can also now drop power troopers. So if we drop these guys in, you will see that... Uh, you can see that a little flares came up. I can also then send out a spy plane if I don't know that area. There you go, dropped in some paratroopers, sent in a spy, and stuff like that. So that is every building, hopefully I've uh, described that well. Sorry about being at the beginning where I was setting up. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably... The, uh, the subpen and the Navy Yard have two different abilities. The Soviet, the Soviets can only build submarines, and you know, they're invisible to, uh, to other units. As of now, that's being changed in a, in a future patch update. And... Um, the Navy Yard allows access to boats such as the gunboat, destroyer, and cruiser. The destroyer is whatever. I'm not going to discuss that now. 
So, uh, hopefully you've, uh, hopefully you've, uh, in little, little, <laughs> hopefully you've in, uh, enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and a comment. Um, if you think I've left anything out, please uh, leave a comment. If you feel that I'm not doing a very good job, also leave a comment. I love a bit of criticism. And don't feel afraid to give me a like. And also tell your friends about me. Because I love being the centre of attention. <laughs> no, joke. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm a terrible person. So uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. And next chapter I will be going over units. And, and telling you what they do. So, uh, boobity bye! Boobity boobity! Boobity boobity!